Well, hello once again. This is Cool Dude Clem here. You may remember in one of my previous videos that I smashed my um, amplifier for my computer um, speakers. Well, I have built two new speakers, and these are amplified speakers too. So there's um, the amplifier is in the speaker, like in like in most computer speakers, but these are constructed all out of wood. As you can see, I might put some vinyl covering on that to give it a nice wood grain finish in the near future. And they've got a very classic look, you know. And unlike most computer speakers, these do not sound tinny and hollow. They, um, they actually sound pretty good. Now I'm going to give you a little demonstration of how good they sound. So turn the amplifier power on. Load up a song. <laughs> That's enough of that. Don't really want to get into any copyright issues here. Now let's um, take a look inside. Okay, this is the inside of the amplified speaker, and this is about the 60 millionth take of doing this, so I hope it comes out good this time. Anyway, this is the transformer right here for the power. Here is the rectifier and the smoothing capacitor. It also has a voltage regulator there, which is very stable. And this is the actual amplifier chip, which is that TFA something or other. You may remember in a few videos ago, I was having, a, I was having some trouble with that chip. I tried to make a working amplifier circuit with it, and uh, it didn't work, because I didn't know what a couple of the pins were supposed to connect to. Well, in one of the comments I got to that video, this person told me what those two pins should connect to, and so I was able to make a working amplifier. It doesn't actually need a big heat sink like this, but I like to use these big heat sinks because you can then mount all the components to it and do point-to-point -point wiring, as you can see I've done there. But I've tested it and it does work, so I'm quite pleased with this. Let's take a little closer look to see how this is actually constructed. You can see I've lined the inside of the speaker with carpet that's um, acoustic insulation, so you know, called the wadding, so it'll sound pretty good. And you can see I've sealed the all the joints, so the speaker is completely sealed inside. You can see around where the chip is. I've cut the carpet so it's not in contact with the chip, so it shouldn't get too hot. Okay, here she schematic of the um, actually no I'll talk normal this is the schematic of the whole thing you can see it includes the power supply with the voltage stabilizer circuit and you can see it's very simple but it gives a very stable voltage and this is the um, the chip with all the parts required to make it work these two here pin 3 and pin 6 are the pins I didn't know what was supposed to be connected to but as you can see, it just connects to the ground via a couple of capacitors there. And although in the application circuit it says I should use 470 microfarad capacitors, I've used 1000 microfarad. So actually, let's take a look at that um, application circuit that came in the data sheet to see how they've ridiculously overcomplicated how to use the chip. This is the um, application diagram schematic that, um, that's in the data sheet. If you just look at all this complicated bit here, it's just really not needed. You can see how I did it in my circuit, and that works. So really, I don't know why they have put all this stuff here when you, when you don't, even, don't really even need that to make the chip work. A little low on screws right now, so I'm just going to have to borrow some. really hot. Mm. 
Whoa. Ah, oh, don't you just hate it when this happens? Pull the drill out and the thing stays in there. No harm done. It's looking good. It's looking very good. You know what's annoying about duct tape? As you cut it a few times, it really gunks up your scissors. There's all that residue on there. Excuse the sniffing, I have another cold, would you believe it? I only got over one about two weeks ago, and now I have another one. It's just absolutely ridiculous, but... Going back to this, you can't cut it because, you know, all the sticky residue. Probably why my voice is different because of this cold. So this is what I do. Spray a little WD-40 on the blades. And let that soak in for a few seconds. And then just do that. Now I'll try to cut the tape again. Oh, just look at that, it's like magic. Still a little bit sticky on the end of the blades, but yeah. Okay, there's one of the speakers about to be completely assembled. You can see I've put the carpet padding in, so there's no so it'll sound pretty good, or should sound pretty good. Here's the speaker with the um, cloth put on the front of it. You can see there, nice and steady. Um, this is um, on the top here. I've got cardboard gasket with double-sided tape all around it so it'll stick nice and well. And there it is, all assembled now. The wire at the back. The only other thing to do with this is uh, make the case a little nicer because uh, you know you can still see all the screws and the different where the different bits of wood meet and everything. But that's one speaker completely. That's one speaker finished. This has been a Cool Dude Clem presentation in association with Mum's Mutant Muffins.